O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall sing your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, being of one substance with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not allow us to fall into temptation, but deliver us from every evil. Amen. O Lord, have mercy upon us, and grant us your salvation. Bless your ministers with righteousness, and make your chosen people joyful. O Lord, save your people, and bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, because there is none other that fights for us, but only you, O God. O God, make clean our hearts within us, do not take your Holy Spirit from us. The Prophet Ezekiel Chapter 2 He said to me, Son of man, stand on your feet and I will speak with you. The Spirit entered into me when he spoke to me and set me on my feet and I heard him who spoke to me. He said to me, Son of man, I send you to the children of Israel, to a nation of rebels who have rebelled against me. They and their fathers have transgressed against me even to this very day. The children are impudent and stiff-hearted. I am sending you to them, and you shall tell them, This says the Lord Yahweh. They, whether they will hear or whether they will refuse, for they are a rebellious house, Yet they will know that there has been a prophet among them. 
You son of man, don't be afraid of them, neither be afraid of their words. Though briars and thorns are with you, and you dwell amongst scorpions, do not be afraid of their words, nor dismayed at their looks, even though they are a rebellious house. You shall speak my words to them, whether they will hear or whether they will refuse, for they are rebellious. But you, son of man, hear what I tell you. Do not be rebellious like that rebellious house. Open your mouth and eat that which I give you. And when I looked, behold, a hand was stretched out to me, and behold, a scroll of a book was in it. He spread it before me. It was written both within and without, and lamentations, mourning, and woe were written in it. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The First Epistle to the Corinthians, Chapter 8 With regard to food sacrificed to idols, we know that we all have knowledge. Knowledge puffs up, but love builds up. If someone thinks he knows something, he does not yet know to the degree that he needs to know. But if someone loves God, he is known by God. But with regard then to eating food sacrificed to idols, we know that an idol in this world is nothing, and that there is no God but one. If, after all, there are so-called gods, whether in heaven or on earth, as there are many gods and many lords, yet for us there is only one God, the Father, through whom are all things and for whom we live, and one Lord, Jesus Christ, through whom are all things and through whom we live. But this knowledge is not shared by all, and some, being accustomed to idols in former times, eat this food as an idol sacrifice, and their conscience, because it is weak, is defiled. Now, food will not bring us close to God. We are no worse if we do not eat, and no better if we do. But be careful that this liberty of yours does not become a hindrance to the weak. For if someone weak sees you who possess knowledge dining in an idol's temple, will not his conscience be strengthened to eat food offered to idols? So by your knowledge the weak brother or sister for whom Christ died is destroyed. If you sin against your brothers and sisters in this way and wound their weak conscience, your sin is against Christ. For this reason, if food causes my brother or sister to sin, I will never eat meat again, so that I may not cause one of them to sin. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Collect for Peace O God, who is the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom stands our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom, defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defence, may not fear the power of any adversaries. Through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord, Amen. The Collect for our safe preservation. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, who has safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with your mighty power and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings may be ordered by your governance, to do always that which is righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, let me accept calmly all that this day might bring me, and let me devote myself completely to your sacred will. Direct me and help me each hour of this day, Control my thoughts and feelings in all my deeds and words. When unpredictable circumstances arise, do not let me forget that everything comes from you. Lord Jesus, Son of God, it is better not to live than to live without you. I thank you, God, for the gift of this new day and for all the good deeds you will help me do today. Holy Spirit, help me to dedicate this day to my Lord and Saviour. Teach me to be just toward my brother and sister, never to provoke wrath or cause sorrow. Control my will and teach me to pray, to believe, to hope, to suffer, to forgive and to love. Amen. We pray for the work of your faithful servants throughout the world, Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. 
May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all today and forevermore. Amen.